Welcome to Lesson 2, Average Daily Balance. We have two objectives today. The first is to find the average daily balance, and the second is to calculate finance charges on average daily balance. And we are looking at this from the perspective of a credit card. Below is a chart showing the percent of debt on credit cards that first-year students in college have. And I just thought it was interesting that 23.7%, or one in a one out of four approximately have over a thousand dollars in debt. So this is an important video for you to watch because it's highly likely that you may end up with debt and you should know and be aware of the cost, the finance charges that you will pay on that average daily balance if you don't pay your credit cards off each month. So let's look at what is the average daily balance. The average daily balance on your credit card during a given billing cycle, and a billing cycle is typically 30 days, is calculated by taking a weighted average. And a weighted average is taking the balance for each day and dividing it by the total amount of the days in the cycle, which would be 30. That's all that a, an average daily balance is. Think of it just as an average, a weighted average. This is one of the most common methods that's used by credit card companies, which is why we are exploring that today. The average daily balance method is a way of calculating interest by considering the balance owed at the end of each day. That's why it's called an average daily balance versus at the end of each month or even the beginning of each month. So why does this matter? Because this is just one way, as we just described, that lenders and borrowers can calculate interest. The Truth in Lending Act will describe all the different acceptable methods. For example, interest calculated using the average daily balance method is usually lower than interest calculated under the previous balance method, which applies interest to the last period's balance. However, the average daily balance method tends to create higher interest than the adjusted balance method, where interest based on the period's ending balance. Because there are these different methods, it is important for you as a borrower to compare different lender offers. Let's go ahead and do an example. In this example, our billing cycle is 30 days and our annual percentage rate is 15%. That may seem high, but in fact, that's pretty typical for credit cards. In fact, they can get as high as 29% so you have to be very careful to read the fine print before you carry a balance. Here's what you did during the month. On the first day, you began the cycle with a $1,000 balance on your credit card. This probably means then that you didn't pay off the balance from the previous month. So this is carrying into this month. You did nothing for four days and then on day five, you made a new purchase of $300, which would then increase your balance. Then again, you did nothing for about five days and then on day 10, you made a payment of $50. Maybe that was your minimum payment. So let's start to calculate your average daily balance. Well, remember that our average daily balance is just an average, but we have to consider that there are 30 days. So there's a balance for each day. So day one, day two, day three, day four, you had a balance of $1,000. So let's write that out. day one through day four, you had a balance of a thousand. So this is four days at a thousand. So if we multiply that by four, that's $4,000. So let's continue on. Day five, something happened you made a new purchase of $300. So on day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, you had a different balance. So day five through day nine, you added an additional $300 to your balance. This means that instead of having a balance of a thousand for that time period, you had a balance of 1,300. So how many days did you have a balance of 1,300? Well, five through nine is five days. So let's multiply that by five and we get 6,500. 
Okay, we're almost done. So now on day 10, what did you do? You made a payment. And that decreased your balance by $50, but for how long? Well, it was day 10 all the way through the end of the billing cycle, which would be day 30. So we decreased our balance by $50 meaning that we had a new balance of 1,250 for how many days? Well, if you include day 10 and you go through day 30, that's 21 days. Another way to figure that out is if you look up here, we have taken care of four days and five days, which is nine. And we know we have a total of 30 days in the billing cycle. So that leaves 21 days. So now we need to multiply 1,000 250 by 21. So on our calculator, we can multiply that and we get 26,250. Okay, so let's think about what we've done. We've just taken and we've added up the amount that we've owed each day for 30 days. So we've taken 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000, so four 1,000s plus five thirteen hundreds, plus 21 1,250s to get these numbers. Now we just need to add them up in order to figure out our total. And when I did that, I come up with 36,750. Okay, well I don't have the average yet. That's just the total of my outstanding balances each day. In order to figure out my weighted average, then, I need to divide by the number of days in the billing cycle. So if I divide by 30, I get 1,225. So 1,225 is my average daily balance. So again, it's not that difficult. You just need to think of it as an average. It's a weighted average. Okay, what is the interest though? So what are we going to pay on that? Well, the formula to do this is to first find the percent paid per month and then multiply the percent by the average daily balance for the month. We know that our annual percentage rate is 15%. But we have a monthly daily balance of 1,225. So we need to figure out what this would be if it was just one month. So what we need to do is take 15%, always as a decimal, divide by 12 months out of the year to figure out what our monthly percentage rate would be. 0.15 divided by 12 gives us 0 0.0125 or one and a quarter percent per month. Step two then says, we'll go ahead and multiply that percent by our average daily balance. Our average daily balance is this 1,225. If we multiply that by 0 0.0125, that will get us our finance charges for this month. And that comes to $15 and 31 cents. So those are our finance charges that we would incur for having an average daily balance of 1,225. And that concludes our lesson for today. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the average daily balance by, by taking the average of each of the month for each day. And then you should be able to also calculate the finance charges on the average daily balance by taking your annual percentage rate and dividing by 12 to find out what your percent is per month.